Hello everyone, it's old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries normal budget bounty guide, I take a look at Balinda Stoneheart. At the time I'm making this video, there is a GG event going on, and for GG event you need to get the Ivus bounty open, and for that you need to be able to complete Balinda Stoneheart. The Balinda Stoneheart bounty typically requires some AoE healing, but I was actually able to find a way to complete this with only rare mercenaries. Here is the party that I used. I used Cariel with Tome of Light, Cirella with Radiant Wand, and Samuro with Burning Blade. And these three mercenaries are able to climb all the way to Balinda without losing anybody. For the Balinda fight itself, I used Cirella, Samuro, and then Lady Anaconda with Signet of the Wilds. And this equipment is important because it allows Anaconda to heal itself and another mercenary at the same time. So every turn that Belinda sets your health to 1, it does that every other turn, Cirella is going to heal one of the other mercenaries, and Anaconda is going to heal the other and itself. So all three mercenaries get healed. And whenever healing is not needed, Cirella can just do Blinding Luminance, Samuro going to hit in, and Anaconda can support a little bit with Serpent's Bite. Those four mercenaries were all that saw play, although I did have Kuki also on the bench with appetizers to give myself a little bit more health. The final slot can be almost anything. You could, for example, bring Cornelius Rome, so that once adds are down, Cornelius is red, Belinda is green, you could try to hit Belinda with Cornelius. I had the Sprite Wing on the bench just in case I needed to test something else, but turns out that I didn't. More ideal would be if you had an AoE healer instead of Anaconda, so for example like this Brightwing, so then you could do Cirella, Samuro, Brightwing. One AoE healer is enough for the normal bounty, so that AoE healer is always going to heal up, like Brightwing with Pixie Dust and Pixie's Pouch, and that would free Cirella and Samuro for offensive action every turn. But if you don't have an AoE healer, none of them are rare, then Cirella, Samuro, Anaconda is able to do this bounty, and this is what it looks like. But other than that, can it be done? The Stoneheart bunker stands proud. Because this is the best best idea I had. Cirella, Samuro, and then Lady Anaconda with the healing gear. So every time Anaconda heals someone else, Anaconda also heals itself. There's no full budget AoE healer. Sprite is an epic GG you get from the task chain. There isn't a single rare that can AoE heal. I think anyway. So, we're doing just the same stuff as always. We're focusing down this one because it ramps up damage. And I hate to see that happen. I'll start blasting away. Yeah, Dark Dreamer, it, it says 550 death blows, but it's 550 damage. That was discovered. That was discovered fairly early on. So now we get this rebuke. Remaining health to one. But this might not be enough of healing. That's kind of the problem, isn't it? I can send a mirror image to kill that. This one's healing Samuro. So this one will heal Cirella. If this doesn't work, then you have to use Brightwing. Let's see. It might not work. It's possible that it doesn't work. Because we didn't get a ton of healing here. But we got some. Okay. It's going to attack again. That's going to keep summoning more stuff. But I would also need to get to this one. And my health is a little low. I need to start attacking into that one, I believe. It's double striking there. This one is mending here. Alright, some real challenges going on right now. Okay, and then health is going to be set to 1. So then we need the heals again. Heal here. This one's going to send a mirror image there, right? To destroy that flame striker. Can't help with the fire weakness thing. 
And if this one heals Samuro, then this one heals Cyrilla. And the mirror image will kill this for this elemental. More elementals are coming. We're getting some atonement stuff going on here. But that's all nice. Not a lot of damage coming. I need to get to work on that Belinda, right? Double striking into it. And do a bit of healing like this. Let's give this a try. Need to get damage rolling. Need to get some heals in. Okay, health is going down again, so then we need to do the cross heals. Heal and heal. And this Samuro. Whirling Blade would kill this before it gets to attack again. Then we're going for that one now. Need the cross heals. Is there no AoE in normal? If there's no AoE, then that helps. That really, really helps. Getting some atonement damage rolling. But for now, we just need to do this and double strike. I can Serpent Spite there so that that will be gone. What if it attacks into Samuro anyway? We'll see. If Palinda doesn't have any more moves, then we will be able to do this. Then the cross heals. And we send a mirror image. Into Belinda or into this elemental? I could send it into the elemental. We get rid of the elemental there. We do the cross heals. Now it does start the AoE. Nine damage. We have fire weakness, we have fire weakness. No, no one is going to be critted. 14, 14. I have 78 coming from the atonement. Alternatives? I can do luminance and double strike, right? I don't know if that's going to stop AoEing or if that's if it's going to AoE every turn from here. So I heal just in case. Back to summoning elementals. Beautiful. Remit and some heals. We proc the ice block. We get some heals going. Summoning elementals again. I'm gonna go for the luminance, double strike, serpent spite there. Finish off that elemental next turn. Belinda is going down now. And we got it. Normal Belinda. Full budget team. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, 
please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and check out my Twitch channel.